turn your hair up a little bit. Oh. Boys. <laughs> you say hi to everybody? Look. Say hi. Just being a bum today. Show the belly. Show the belly. I can't even see you. I can't see you, buddies. Gotta answer some questions. Okay, let's read some of these. Oh, they all say they love you. <laughs> I'm looking into getting a, bur a burner and have a male dog. What gender do you recommend? Uh, I'm not the expert on that. I've heard with burners that females are a little more independent and not as needy as the male, but I don't know for sure. We got Benny when he was eight months old. And he'll be two in June. Make the fart noise, Benny. Food do you feed Benny? Right now he's back on dry food and the brand is Merrick's. Do you give Benny probiotics? Uh, not right now, no, we don't. But I know if your dog is having like stomach issues, we'll give Benny some pumpkin puree and that'll usually clean him out. Try to make the fart sound. I just did the fart sound with him. He might run away. <laughs> um, how do you find a Bernese breeder? I actually have no idea. We didn't get him from a breeder. Um, I know there's different Facebook groups, like Bernese Mountain Dog Facebook groups. Uh, you could post on there. They usually know. Benny is... Almost two. He'll be two on in June. How much did Benny cost? We got Benny on Craigslist. Um, his previous owners got him for two thousand dollars. We got him from his previous owners for about seven hundred dollars. Do you clip his nails yourself? I do not clip his nails. We go get his nails clipped. Any suggestions on toys? Um, Benny loves pretty much anything. He loves his giant carrot. Um, he likes, like we get him the fake bones to chew on that are like flavored. He really likes those. Um, can you find that in Canada? I don't know. We get it at, I can only find it at like PetSmart and Petco. How long can he stay home alone? Um, usually when I'm normally working and Christian's working, he can stay home for about eight hours. Uh, we don't try to go any longer than that. But right now he gets me 24 seven because I can't go to work. Do you cut his hair? <laughs> um, sometimes I like try to trim up around his ears, but I don't do a good job and then he looks dumb but I'll trim up like the knots behind his ears um, and I'll trim up by his like butt area because that gets real knotted and then it gets itchy and then he gets hot spots. So I, it's better for me to just cut it. I do try to trim around his paws, but obviously I'm still not that good at it either. Is 
crazy hot by you right now. No, it's we have it our air at 74, so it's pretty chilly in here. Does he sleep with you? Uh, he'll come and cuddle with us for a little bit, but he won't sleep with us because he gets too hot. How bad do they shed? Um, they shed pretty bad, except it kind of like just clumps around the house. It's not like short hair dogs where it's like little short hairs everywhere. It's more of big like big clumps like behind furniture. Um, hey! Or like just blowing in the wind. Um, does he trash the house when he's left alone for long periods? Normally, no. Normally he just sleeps. I have left a video, like I've recorded him when we left the house and he just sleeps the whole time. If he can get to the garbage, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Whew. If he can get to the garbage, he will go into it. Um, we keep our garbage in the cabinet so he can't get into the garbage. Or if we leave the bathroom door open, he will go eat the toilet paper, but that's just because he's obsessed with toilet paper. I might sneeze at any second now. How big is Benny? He's almost 90 pounds. Does he like going to the vet and the groomer? He is fine with going to the vet. He just thinks there's more people giving him attention. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. It's coming. Um, would you ever get another one? Um, we do want another burner or we want a golden retriever. I think we're leaning more towards the burner. How much does Benny weigh? Um, 87 pounds. Does he have any dog friends? He does. We live in an apartment complex and we have a huge dog park in our apartment complex. Can you stop it? And there's a lot of dogs there and he loves them and he really likes all those smaller dogs. Oh, going to sneeze. Did you ever take him on a, did you ever take him to a travel flight? I'm guessing on a flight. No, he's never been on a plane. I don't think he would do very well. Does he watch TV with you? Not really, but he'll lay on us while we watch TV. Do they do okay with stairs? Uh, yeah, he does stumble on the stairs sometimes. He tries to go like too fast. I've, people have said that like they shouldn't do stairs too often just because when they're older, they have like hip problems and joint problems. Did you give Benny the name or his previous boss? <laughs> his previous owners named him Benny. Is he vocal when he begs? Uh, no, he won't bark at us for food. He'll only bark at us if he has to go outside. Was he easy to train? Eh, that is a hard question for us because we only got him at eight months and he had a lot of bad habits and he had a lot of medical issues. So in the beginning, no, he was not easy to train. How long did it take before he didn't cry in the night? Um, Benny doesn't really cry in the night. I seriously have to sneeze and it's just not coming out. <laughs> uh. The dog park near my house is closed. Are there any games that Benny likes to play to burn a lot of energy? Uh, we get like different puzzles for him to play where you put treats inside and he has to open them up. Um, very big bones for him to keep him busy. Otherwise he likes to sit on our balcony and just watch everybody and be nosy. How did you buy him? We got him on Craigslist. How often does he get a bath? Not very often. Does Benny bite the wall? He used to. He hasn't done it in a very, very long time. Do you take him to the groomer? And if so, how often? He's actually never been to the groomer. I actually, I did want to take him recently, but then everything closed down. So when everything opens up, I will probably try to do a video of him going to the groomer. What medical issues he has? Uh, when we first got him, excuse me, 
when we first got him, he, the, the owner said that he was potty trained, but then he kept having accidents in the house. Um, he was waking us up every hour in the night. I'm not even kidding. Like we were up every single hour to take him outside because he had to go to the bathroom. He was peeing blood. So we assumed it might've been a bladder infection. And after many, many vet vis visits and tests, he didn't have a UTI. We did ultrasound, we did x-rays, we went and got it cultured. Um, we spent a lot of money in the first two months of owning him just to find out that he had an enlarged prostate, which was causing an infection in his bladder, which was causing him to pee blood. And all we had to do was get him neutered and he was fine. But we spent a lot of money before we figured that out. Uh, did you have a Bernice Mountain Dog before Benny? And if yes, how much? We Benny's our first dog. If you want to sneeze, look up at the light. <laughs> I've tried that. It doesn't work for me. I think it's going away. I think some of his hair got in my nose and that's why I had to sneeze. I would love if you would get a golden retriever so you can make videos between the two. I can't decide which dog suits better. I've read and uh, Christian grew up with the golden. He says they're very similar. Bernice's are more cuddly and very goofy and very needy, but they're very similar to, to golden's. Where does Benny sleep? He sleeps like right outside our door on the hardwood floor because in our room it's carpet. He sleeps right where the carpet ends so he can still see us. Is Benny often recognized? Like for being on YouTube? Uh, no, he's never been recognized, but he gets a lot of attention just because he's cute. Will you do a food tasting review with Benny? I've done two of them already. Um, they're on the channel. Huh. Does he like the water and to swim? Ooh. He does like water. He he does want to swim, but he's also afraid to go any deeper than his shoulders. And he's not the best at swimming. Is he aggressive? No, not at all. I am falling behind on these comments. How much did Benny cost? How much do you spend on Benny every week slash month? And what is the average age of a Bernice? I can't tell you how much I spend on Benny. I don't keep track of it. Um, not as much as I thought I would. I know it's different for when he has different medical issues. As of right now, I spend about almost 60 on his bag of food, which could be once or twice a month that I need to buy that. And then whatever toys, um, his ear wipes, um, I've bought in different brushes for him. Uh, shampoo and conditioner. Have you tried his dog food to make sure it tastes good? Not his dry food, but when he was on a raw diet, yes. Has he ever seen snow? Yes. He doesn't care for it. Um, is he good with kids? He is. I'm actually, I just edited the video, the 10 reasons why you should get a Bernice Mountain Dog, and that is one of, the, one of the reasons is he's very good with kids. Uh, and I put tons of example videos in that video. I'll either post it tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm doing online school and watching this, this, watching this at the same time. What are the ear wipes for? I've never heard of those. Uh, for burners, they get a lot of buildup of wax in their ears and it stinks. And they just, we just need to go in and wipe all that nasty stuff out. It's disgusting. He likes to eat the snowballs, yeah, but I mean, he doesn't go running through the snow like you'd think a burner would do. Are you planning on teaching him new tricks because you're home a lot? We've actually been working on just like the basic tricks, because he does know when to come. We tell him to come all the time. Like when we're outside, he gets distracted. So we're working on like, whoa. We're working on to getting, getting him to listen a little better. He looks like he's gotten bigger. Oh, uh, he has, not much. Last time I got him weighed, he was 82 pounds. And that was like in June. 
and now he's 87. What is this raw dyed? I was thinking of putting mine on a raw dyed. What would be good? Uh, you can definitely search different um, raw diets. Benny got raw chicken with the bone in it. Uh, make sure if there's a bone in the chicken that it is raw and not cooked because if it's cooked, the bone will splinter and that's very bad for them. Um, but we did the raw chicken. We did some ground turkey with it, pumpkin puree, uh, brown rice, sweet potatoes, carrots, um, I know they want more meat in it. It just can become very expensive. Um, sorry, he just left me to go eat his bone. What is the brand of wipes you use because I need to buy some for my pup? I don't use a certain brand. I think I buy them different each time. Um, just go to Pet Call PetSmart and grab any ear wipes. I think they'd work fine. I live in a trop I live in tropical weather with that father Bernice Mountain Dog. We live in Florida. Um, Benny was born here. He does perfectly fine. We I've we've done a Bernice Mountain Dog meetup in Orlando. They all do fine. When and where was Benny born and did you ever see Benny's parents? Benny is from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, he was born June 1st, 2018. I did not see his parents, but I have pictures of them. How is Benny around other dogs and animals? He loves everybody. He loves other dogs. He is just curious about cats. He doesn't like hurt them or anything. He just wants to smell them. Does he play bite? He does play bite. What kind of brain toys do you get Benny? Um, we get uh, little puzzles. We have two different puzzles right now where he has to like open the flaps up or like pull the bone out to get the treat. We have a like jar with like a rope in it that is very hard. Um, he doesn't really like that one. I'm sorry, I'm falling behind on these. Like his dog parents, not the owner. Yeah, I know. I, I've never seen his dog parents. I just have pictures on his birth certificate. Does he jump a lot on people? Not as much as he used to. Um, he's gotten a lot better with it. He will jump on us, which we allow because he likes to hug us. But when he comes to strangers, we do not let him jump on them. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm falling behind on all of these. Has Benny ever knocked you over? Yes, he has. Do you think he'll ever get a pull cart sled since he is that kind of, that is the kind of their, what? Since that is kind of their purpose. Oh, um, I mean, I think it'd be fun to try it out with him. Did you start this YouTube channel because of Benny? No, we did not start the channel because of Benny. Um, I actually have tons of videos that are on my channel that are private. They are just for, or unlisted, they're just for like, so I can show family back home some videos, which is what Benny's video was, was just to show people back home what it was like having him and that video blew up and we just kind of stuck with it. And now we make Benny videos. Um, what are you doing? Hey, no, no, Benjamin, you're going to give yourself a hot spot. Benny is almost two. Do you have any other pets? Nope, just Benny. When would you get another dog? Um, maybe in a year or two. It depends on whenever we get a house. Um, we just can't afford another dog right now and living in an apartment, we shouldn't have another dog right now, especially if we want to get another burner. Does Benny snore? He does snore a lot. Does he have any favorite treats? Um, he likes frozen carrots, like big, big frozen carrots. Do they do okay in apartments? Benny does perfectly fine. Um, he doesn't need much room in, I, 
he could live in one room with me and be perfectly fine. He wants to be right by us at all times. But that being said, we do need to take him outside and get him exercise. And he needs to be off leash once in a while. Well, I mean, every day and get all the sniffs out. How do you keep his fur so soft? I don't know. He's just naturally beautiful. You live in Florida. Why didn't you get a greater Swiss mountain dog? I don't know. I found Benny on Craigslist and he needed a home. Is he a smart dog? Is he smart as a dog? Is he smart as a dog? I don't understand that question. Before quarantine, how much was he left alone and was he crated? Um, he was home alone the longest eight hours a day. Um, it wasn't normally eight hours a day. I would normally go to work earlier and Christian would go to work later and then I'd come home earlier. So he wasn't home alone too often. And he wasn't a crate when we first got him, but after we got him neutered and he had to wear a cone, he didn't fit in his crate and then he just never went back into the crate. Um, where has Benny traveled to? He has been to Wisconsin twice now. He has stopped in Georgia when we drive home. He has been to North Carolina and he has been lots of places in Florida, West Palm Beach, Orlando, Jacksonville. Um, yeah. Did he ever have separation anxiety? He has a bit of anxiety. He doesn't freak out when we leave the house, like he'll bark and stuff, but like once we're gone for a while, he relax, he'll relax. But like if I close the door, like if I go in my room and he's outside the room and I close the door, he like will freak out. Can he learn tricks quick? Apparently burners are fast learners and very easy to train. Um, they can be very stubborn and even if they know something, they may not always do it especially when you're trying to show people that he can jump over the pole. He won't do it. <laughs> Where is Benny? He's on the floor eating his bone. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to hang out with us. Benny, come here. Buddies, come here buddies. Come here. Oh, big booty. Oh gosh. There you go. Everybody wants to see you. Oh, so handsome. You're dirty right here, though. Ew. He's got this bone right now that the vet told us to get to help his teeth. And he gets all nasty right here. Okay, falling behind on questions. There's so much hair everywhere. What are some of his bad habits? Oh. <sighs> That he likes to get in the garbage and he likes to eat toilet paper and look at him <laughs> mom don't tell them that buddies how old is he when you got him he was eight months old does he like hiking he likes going on walks um but he wouldn't really last very long on a hike Does he enjoy the car and sticking his head out the window? He loves the car. Any tips on having a dog on a road trip? I don't have tips. We thought Benny would do horrible, but we drove 23 hours to Wisconsin and he loved every single second of it and pretty much slept the whole way. It was crazy. Could you say hi to Ann, Anna? Can you write the how to pronounce it? Is 74 degrees not too hot for Benny? Um, no, our apartment's actually really cold. So we have it set to 74, but it feels cold in here. Was he potty trained when you got him? They said he was potty trained, except he had his enlarged prostate, which was causing an infection in his bladder which was making him pee literally every second. So he did have accidents in the house, but after he, we got him neutered, he has never had an accident since. Except one day, he pooped in the bathtub, but that's a whole different story. 
what do you and dad do for a living? Um, I work with children, but that's pretty much all I want to say about my job. We kind of want to keep that part of our lives private. Do you brush his teeth? I try to. I'm not the best at it. He hates it. Does he slip on the hardwood floors? He sometimes does if he's just too excited and like is running out the door. You are home a lot. It makes me curious. Um, I'm home now because of the virus. I haven't been able to go back to work since the whole stay at home order. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Luckily I have YouTube, so I do make a little bit of money still, but I can't go to work. Does he get into shoes a lot? He has eaten a pair of my shoes. He loves dad's shoes. And dad had some very expensive shoes that somebody turned into flip flops. I wish you could see him. He's. I can't like keep this here. Hold on. Don't move, Benjamin. Nope. No, no. Don't move. Stay there. There you go. Go lay down. Lay down. They don't. <laughs> Does he scratch your floors when he's inside? No, he doesn't scratch the floors. Does he like the outdoors? Of course he does. What's the worst thing Benny's ever done? Ooh. Um, we first got him, he chewed up the side of our door. Or he ate Christian's shoes. How does he handle loneliness? Um, he does fine. He's not lonely, he's got me. A nook. Is that how you pronounce it? A nook? Does he have a Kong? I would highly recommend it. He does have a Kong. Um, he doesn't get like all the peanut butter or stuff out of it and then it gets all nasty so I just prefer not to use the Kong. He does have these bones that I can put peanut butter in. Okay, geez. I stopped petting you for five seconds. How do you guys treat him during quarantine? I heard some people ignore their dog for a few hours a day so they don't get separation anxiety when they go back to work. Um, I have to edit the YouTube videos and I do I still do work from home. Um, so he'll have his like quiet time and I just leave him alone. He does fine. I still leave the house too. Like we go to the beach. How much does he weigh? 87 pounds. I wonder how long you can leave a smaller big dog home by itself. Um, normally he stays home for about eight hours by himself. How'd you choose his name? Um, his previous owners, oh, you can't even see his face. Oh, 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 oh gosh. It's like, what are you doing? Um, excuse me. Let me set this up, sir. Ooh, ooh. How did you choose his name? His previous owners named him. What's your advice for new dog owners? Do lots of research on the breed. Did I see a little kitty cat? Um, I don't know what that means. Can you give me a shout out maybe? The paintball kid? Say hi paintball kid. What language does he speak? Hmm, Japanese. Does he try to eat some of your dinner when you're eating it? Like sit next to you? Yes, he does. He's very rude. Does he like to eat ice cubes? He does like ice cubes. Buddy. Is he okay with the Florida heat? He does fine. 
Um, we're obviously very careful if it gets too hot. Ugh. Oh, are you leaving? Where are you going? Come here. Get back up here. Come here. No, come up. Up. I'm so behind on the questions. <laughs> How often do you brush him? Um, not as much as I probably should be. I should be brushing him more. Um, sir, why do you keep leaving? Oh, you want your bone. He just wants to eat the bones. Who's more stubborn, the kids working with? Your kids working with or Benny? Uh, that is a tough question. I love how it looks like they have eyebrows. Everybody always says that. Does Benny eat slash drink a lot? Um, he eats twice a day. He drinks normal. I don't know. Do you sometimes swim with him? Um, yeah, there's a video on here of Benny's first time in a swimming pool. And there's videos of us taking him to the beach. And how he swims is the funniest thing in the entire world. Does he have a crazy hour? <laughs> yeah, he's crazy 24-7. When does Benny start to shed every day? All day. Um, let's see, let's see. I put this down by him? Hold on. I'm gonna be moving you guys around real quick. We have a puppy photo of Benny. Um, can everybody hear me from here? Yeah, on his Instagram, we have lots of puppy pictures of him. What are the top three things that you love about him? Oh man, I like how goofy and silly he is. I like, um, I like how cuddly he is and just his funny personality. That he's just the sweetest, cutest guy out there. Is there a time of year that he sheds more? Um, yeah, like I think I would say, wait, I've got garbage by you. Spring and fall. You should buy him clothes and make a fashion show video. <laughs> oh, buddies. It's hard finding clothes that actually fit him because he's so big. But he does have a Christmas sweater. I love the sound of him biting onto the bone. A little ASMR. He's been working on this thing for three days. Do we have any more questions? How do you feel about the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog? Um, I don't really know much about the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog other than they have shorter hair. Do you prefer your dog or maybe children? Um, I don't understand that question. I think you are allowed to have a dog and children. So I don't really see the point of that question. I 
family's thinking of getting a burner, what's some advice you have? Um, watch our video that's like the 10 reasons the burner, Bernice might not be the dog for you. And in a couple days I'll have a video, it's called uh, the reasons why you should get a Bernese Mountain Dog. Does he like to eat sticks or grass when he's outside? He used to be obsessed with eating sticks, but we've trained him not to do that anymore. Does he have any quirks? He does. Watch our um, weird things about my Bernese Mountain Dog video. How many times does Benny need to eat that bone? Um, I don't know. We just went to the vet recently and they said he has some buildup on his teeth. Not bad, but like we should do something to take care of it. And he told us to get this bone. Um, thoughts on Yorkies. I love Yorkies. My first dog was a Yorkie. His name was Pieces and he was the greatest dog. And besides you buddies. Does he fart often? Um, no, not really. Also depends on what food he's eating. How much food do you give him? I give him a cup and a half of his dry food twice a day. When he was on a raw diet, it was like never ending. He was never full off his raw diet. Does he have bad breath? Because my grandma's Bernice has really bad breath. He did have bad breath when he had the cut in his mouth, but since the, we got antibiotics, the cut's gone. Um, he has very good teeth, except for the two that have buildup on it, which is why he has this bone. But no, he does not have very bad breath. If they have very bad breath, it means something is wrong with their gums and their teeth. Just want to send some greetings from Germany. Does Benny like to play fetch? Ah, uh, he used to. Um, lately, he's not really into it. Do you think a Bernice would be a good office dog? I have seen burners of office dogs. Our vet actually owns a Bernice Mountain Dog, and the Bernice Mountain Dog hangs out in the reception area. We do use the Furminator, um, but we use that more for when he's having his blowouts twice a year. Otherwise, we have a rake brush. Thanks to your video about the Bernese, I've understood they're not my type, although I wanted them so badly. <laughs> they are a special breed. Does he try to hunt? We live in Florida, so we have little lizards that run everywhere, and he literally doesn't even notice them. So no, he would not be a good hunter. Does Benny get big bear hugs? He does, especially when we come home from work. He has to come up on the couch and give us big hugs. I've made a presentation every night for a month on why we should get up our knees. Ah, oh, that's funny. Look at this bone, it keeps him busy for so long. Does he like the beach or the park better? Um, it depends. The park, if it's the dog park, all he wants to do is sniff around. Like that's all he does. Unless a dog comes, then he'll be fine. The beach, it depends on if there's waves. He's afraid of the waves, but he does like lakes where he can go swimming. Does he allow it when you try to cut his hair? Um, it's a little tricky. He will sit still for a little bit, um, but he does get annoyed. The bone is rawhide, but before I get anybody to yell at me about the rawhide, I know about them and I would prefer not to give him it, but our vet told us to give it to him. He said to get a very big one that he can work on it for a while to get the little bit of plaque that is on his teeth off.
Yorkies are really good dogs. We loved our Yorkie. Is Benny fully grown? Um, he's slowly getting bigger. They say they'll grow until about three, but he will be a smaller Bernice. Both his parents were very small. Have you had any slash many family or friends be allergic to Benny? Uh, no, but Christian is allergic to dogs. He just deals with it because he loves dogs. You gotta get the big ones like this. When he was eight months, he was 62 pounds. And he wasn't, um, he might have been just small. His dad at full grown was only 75 pounds and his mom full grown was 95. So Benny, our vet said that he'll be about 75 to 90 pounds. He's just a smaller guy. Is he a crossing dog? This is when parents of Benny are two different races. Both of, he's a purebred Bernice. Yep, his, I have a whole list of his family tree up like four generations. They are all burners. Has Benny ever accidentally ate chocolate? No, he's never had chocolate. What's his favorite vegetable? He likes them all, but he, he gets carrots the most. What kind of food do we give Benny? Um, right now he's back on dry food. It's Merrick's brand. Um, we do add like peas to it once in a while. We'll add carrots to it once in a while or pumpkin puree. Oh yeah, you get that bowl, buddies. I mean, the average weight for Bernice is I think I read like 80 to 115. Somebody in our comment section said that a burner should only be between 40 and 90 pounds, which I think is crazy. I have never heard that in my life. 40 pounds for Bernie's Mountain Dog is too small for full grown. Is Benny a picky eater? Nope, not at all. He loves everything. 40, yeah, I know. Some people just like to post whatever they want in the comments and act like they're experts. Oh, I know, this bone keeps him so busy. It's so nice. I get some, I get some space from him. Do you think Rachel Ray's dog food is good? I've never had Rachel Ray dog food. Um, oh, we did, we ran out of his dry food once and, or maybe I ran out of his raw diet. I'm not sure what it was. And we just had a quick stop at the store because we were on a road trip and I just picked up Rachel Ray's wet dog food and he had diarrhea all day. You, sh you got your dog used to food. You should have gotten used to hugs. I don't understand that. Benny likes hugs. How long are Benny's walks? Depending on how hot it is outside. If it's too hot, we won't be out there too long, but maybe 20 to 30 minutes. And then we also go to the dog park. 
and we throw the ball around and he plays with other dogs. Has his marking changed a lot since you got him? Um, not too much. He did used to have a little white spot on his nose, but as his nose got bigger, it kind of got sucked up into his nostrils, so that it's kind of gone now. <laughs> but his markings are pretty much the same. What did you do for Benny's first birthday? We went to PetSmart and he went with me and he picked out his own toy and he carried his own toy up to the register and then carried the toy back to the car and then we went to Starbucks and he got a puppuccino and I got him a birthday hat and we took some pictures. What do you like least of the Bernice Mountain Dog? Um, I like how needy he is but I also sometimes don't like how needy he is. Like sometimes you do just want some space or if you're busy and he's just constantly by you, which I mean, if I push him away enough, he'll leave me alone. And I don't like, I do like when he comes and cuddles with us, but I don't like when I'm trying to get up and he like pushes me back down. Was he a bad teenager? Oh, he is still a teenager. He's going, I think he's going through his teen years right now. He's getting rebellious. Oh, that's so sad. I'm so sorry. Our burner is 10 months old and jumps and barks quite a lot when he's excited. Did Benny do that? Do you think he'll outgrow it? Let me tell you, the first year of owning a Bernice Mountain Dog is the hardest year. They are so difficult. Um, it does get better after they turn one. Somebody, Actually, somebody told me this when he was 10 months. They said once they hit a year, you'll notice a big difference. And then every day set after the year... Um, they just get better. So it does get better, don't worry. Do you step on his tail? I don't step on his tail, actually. Burners can be stubborn, but they're sweethearts, that's true. Yeah, he, he's not as bad as he was when he was eight months. Um, but he was very, very mouthy from like eight to 12 months. He, he was just so naughty when we first got him. It calms down, don't worry. He likes to sleep on the floor. He gets too hot when he's on blankies. He used to have a bed when we first got him, but he pooped all over it and then we threw it away and then we got him another one and he didn't even use it, so. Is he dominant towards other dogs? Uh, no, especially after we got him neutered. He's not very dominant. He does try to hump some dogs, but we stop it right away. I only got him at eight months. He was already potty trained when I got him, um, so we didn't really have to potty train him, technically. We got him neutered at 10 months. We wanted to wait till a year, but he had an enlarged prostate and he needed to get neutered like right away. Does Benny prefer the woods, sea, or, the, or fields? Probably fields. He loves bushes. He loves plants. He likes to attack them. Does he have a baby blanket? No, but he does have a stingray stuffed animal that he has had since um, his previous owners actually got it for him and he's had it since we've gotten him. Does he ever steal clothes out of the hamper? Um, no. He did eat one of my shirts once back when he was younger, but he hasn't touched our clothes since. Is this breed sociable with other dogs? Yes, he loves other dogs. He's very, very well behaved with other dogs. He thinks he's small and he really likes little dogs but he forgets or he doesn't realize that he is really big and he can't just play with them like normal because he squishes them. Has he ever knocked over a dog? Yes, and he has squished them and laid on them 
and knocked them over. Um, Benny has little shoes that we used to keep on him. Um, he does better on our wood floor now, but you can definitely try dog shoes. Does anything scare him? Everything scares him. We just were playing cards the other day and Christian shuffled the deck of cards and he ran into our room afraid of it. He's also afraid of bubbles. He's afraid of candles. He's afraid of tongs. He's afraid of the fart noise that we make with our mouth. Has he ever pooped in someone else's house? No, he's never pooped in anybody else's house. What do you think other owners are doing wrong with their Bernice Mountain Dog? I'm not an expert, so I don't know. We get told that we're doing everything wrong, but. Yeah, but he doesn't really care for like thunder or loud, like those kinds of loud noises. He actually likes sitting outside and like watching the rain and listening to thunder. Has Benny ever bitten anyone other than dogs? Um, he did bite me really badly one time. It was an accident though. I went to go throw something and he went to go jump and grab it and my arm got in the way he bit down on my arm. Other than that, no. He does play bite, but he's never bitten anybody. Does Benny like having his teeth brushed? No, he does not like having his teeth brushed. Does he try to stick his head under the furniture? He likes to try to stick his head like in the cushions, under our carpet. We call him an ostrich. Did neutering help him with the mouthing and acting bad? Um, I would say yes, but I think he was very mouthy because he was in a lot of pain and he acted out because he was in a lot of pain from the, the enlarged prostate. So I can't really say if neutering helped in general or if it just helped that pain and it calmed him down. So I'm not 100% sure on that. I read that neutering does help them, but I would say wait a year and they will they turn into a completely different dog benny actually isn't a digger which is i've seen other dogs but he doesn't like getting dirty <laughs> I've read that as the burner grows, they will grow up until three years old, but they do, I guess, some parts of them grow faster than others, which make them look really awkward. <laughs> he doesn't sleep in our bed. He, he doesn't have his own dog bed. He used to, he didn't like it. He likes to sleep on the hardwood floor because it's cooler. Does he like cats? Um, he doesn't care for cats. I mean, he's curious about them, but I mean, I don't think he minds cats at all. <laughs> Has he ever done that weird dog smile where they look at you like they're going to kill you? Um, I don't know, but he does this thing where if like he hears something and he's curious, like he'll freeze like a statue and his lip will get stuck on his tooth and it'll just sit like that for a while. Does Benny like water, rain, and being wet? He loves water, he loves the rain. He loved when Hurricane Dorian came by. Um, we went outside in the middle of like the main day of Hurricane Dorian when it wasn't raining yet. And he just ran through the puddles like crazy. Does he like going to the pet store? He loves going to the pet store. Um, 
Um, we never use doggy diapers. I just, I, in my opinion, I wouldn't want them to get used to being able to just pee in a diaper. Does he not like certain persons? Benny doesn't like, uh, it's not a person, but he doesn't like German Shepherds. And that's because he got attacked by one once, and so now he gets weird about them. Like, he like he loves all dogs, but he gets very cautious around German Shepherds. Do you ever take him to the dog park? Every single day. We have one right by our apartment. It's actually our apartment's dog park, but we go there every single day. We walk him every day. Um, I don't have a certain time. It depends on the weather. Does Benny randomly bark loudly if he hears something? If he hears a knock at the door, if he hears a doorbell sound, which is weird because we don't even have a doorbell, so I don't know how he figured that out, um, or if dogs walk by. doesn't howl or sing. The husky I grew up with did though. Does he have his big boy bark yet? Yes, he does. He has a very loud, deep bark. <laughs> Look at his eye. <laughs> you enjoying that bone? dogs have you had in your life oh gosh okay so we had a Yorkie we had this little white dog for a while we had a puppy that didn't even make it to a year old he died um, we had two huskies we had our baby Rue I want to say my entire life including Benny. I've had seven dogs. He has brown eyes. When are you posting 10 reasons to get a Bernice non dog? Um, I'm posting it tomorrow or Wednesday. Benny is almost two. He'll be two in June. Um, my husband has grown up with Newfoundlands and Golden Retrievers, and he had seen pictures of Brittany's Mountain Dogs and really, really wanted one. He loves big, big, fluffy dogs. Um, we didn't really know much about the burner. Um, I did a lot of research and I kept looking up burners, but I didn't want to spend $2,000 on a burner. And then I found Benny on Craigslist for $700. And even though we kind of weren't wanting, like, wanting a dog at that moment, we couldn't pass up that opportunity. Does he have a collar on all day? Um, he actually never wears his collar. I'll usually, he usually has a bandana on, but with this bone, he got the bandana like all nasty. So right now his bandana is not on and he does not wear his collar. What should I do if I'm gone for a long period of the day, every day with a dog at home? Um, me and Christian normally with before this quarantine, Christian and I both go to work every single day except for Saturday and Sunday and Benny's normally home for about six to eight hours a day and he does fine. Um, sometimes you can crate your dog. I've heard you can do that. Um, Benny's not. Benny does 
is not going for you. Does Bernice Mountain Dog shed a lot when they're puppies? I only had Benny at eight months, so I don't know for sure. How much longer are you staying on? Are you sick of me? Should I, should I hang up now? <laughs> I'll probably just hang out until things start slowing down or if we have to go do something. He's busy cleaning his teeth right now. I can't play with him. He's actually chewing on his bone to clean his teeth. And we were just outside playing. Okay, well, keep up your comments and I'm going to remove you from here. Um, they do say Bernice Mountain Dogs are easily trained. Um, they can be very stubborn, though. We'll definitely check out the movie. Does he ever lick the windows and smudge his face? Um, no, he doesn't lick the windows, but he gets drool all over them. What kind of treats do you get him? Um, he likes to eat frozen carrots. He already was outside playing and we will go outside and play later, but as of right now, we're just doing this live Q&A and I can't be playing with him while answering questions. He is perfectly content on chewing his bone. It's his favorite thing that he's been doing. And it is cleaning his teeth. We just went to the vet. The vet told us to get this bone to clean his teeth. What Netflix show should I watch? Because I don't know I need to entertain myself. Um, I don't know how old you are. I, it says you're in school, so I'm guessing, I'm, I'm gonna guess high school. I'm currently re-watching Vampire Diaries, and me and Christian are watching the originals, which he thinks is interesting. Um, those, those are the shows we're watching right now. Tiger King. We have not, no. I've heard about it though. We also currently like the show Shit's Creek right now. tried to eat a hard leaf the other um a few weeks ago and cut the inside of his mouth and he got a little infection and then we had to go get antibiotics <laughs> it is just a regular raw rawhide our vet told us to get one for him to chew on and to help the plaque on his teeth Um, he wears a harness when he goes for a walk. His favorite spot is wherever we are, but he likes to sleep in the little hallway by our bedroom.
He does shed a lot, yes. We do want to get another dog, but we need to get a, a house first. So maybe in a couple years. And we would like to get a burner or a golden retriever. Ew, you're nasty. Look at you. I like the harness better and we clip the harness to the front of him right by his chest so if he pulls too hard it'll just kind of pull him around uh, my husband grew up with a golden retriever and I've always wanted a golden puppy but we do really like the burner so now we're kind of um, debating Yep, he does knock over lots of stuff with that tail. I don't mind yellow labs, um, but we really like the longer haired dogs. Um, and we do really like the burner. I guess it just depends on whatever dog we find. We would have gotten a girl or a boy, Bernice. We just happened to have found Benny. Well, how exciting. If you get any pictures, make sure to send them to Benny's Instagram so we can see your burner puppy. What names do we like? Uh, we didn't get to name Benny, but his nicknames, we call him Benjamin or Benjamin Wallace, um, Benjamin. He's got lots of weird nicknames too, but. How often does he get bones? I don't ever give him like actual bones. I don't want them to splinter. He gets these once in a while because of his teeth. Normally I give him frozen carrots to chew on. Um, I don't know, I, I've seen golden retrievers are cost a lot to buy, especially a puppy. Burners are expensive as well. We got Benny off Craigslist. Um, I know people who have gotten burners in shelters. A lot of people do get burners just because of the way they look and then end up giving them away because they can't handle them. So definitely check out the shelters. If you could have named him, what would you have chosen? I actually didn't want his name to stay as Benny. Um, for some reason, I just didn't like it in the beginning. I didn't really think of any other names. Or if I did, I forgot what they were. Um, Christian really wanted his name to stay as Benny. And now it's kind of grown on me and now that's just his name. What are the biggest challenges of having a burner? Um, their neediness is a, can be a challenge. And stubbornness. Oh yeah, you clean those teeth. <laughs> this one, this is the one that has the plaque on it. Does he wake you, does he wake you always in the morning or let you sleep in? Back in the day, he used to wake us up earlier and earlier every day. One day it was four o'clock in the morning, wanting to go, go outside. We have somehow trained him to wait until one of our alarm clocks goes off. As soon as that alarm clocks, clock goes off, he is in our bed with us, ready to go outside. His 
favorite toy is his giant carrot. Um, our apartment is like 800 something square feet. We are actually moving in a few weeks to a bigger apartment, which is a little over a thousand square feet. Um, he does perfectly fine in an apartment. Burners want to be right by you at all times. They don't need much room in the house. Um, as long as he gets enough outside time, like off leash time to run around and sniff everything. He loves sniffing bushes. We have a dog park in our apartment, so he goes there every single day and does perfectly fine. I heard that some burners stop eating after their owner dies or abandons them. When you got him, did you notice any signs of depression or anxiety? He had a ton of anxiety when we got him. It was a very, very big, it was a, it was a struggle to get him used to being with us, but he also had medical issues, so he was in pain. So he would literally sit on the side of our bed, panting all night, keeping us up all night, but then also having to pee every hour because of his enlarged prostate. So the first two months with him was very, very hard. He did have a lot of anxiety. He still does have some anxiety, but it's once he's, now that he's gotten used to us, he's a lot better. Does he run away when you try to take things out of his mouth? Yeah, when he has toilet paper, he tries to run. What dog shampoo slash condi conditioner do you suggest? I don't really have a certain shampoo or conditioner that I use. I tend to buy different ones each time. I try to get one that is for dry skin because he is a dry, itchy guy. Oh, thank you. We're glad we found him. You have to brush them a lot. They say you should brush them. Somebody in the comments section said I should brush them every single day, but I don't think anybody has time to brush their dog every single day. I would say at least once a week. <laughs> what has he destroyed in the apartment? On our first one, he chewed up the, the corners of our doorway because we shut our door at night because we didn't want him to bother us in the middle of the night. We shut the door and he ate the corner of the door. Um, I just sanded it and painted it. <laughs> um, I know in our old one, he tried to eat like the edge of one of the carpets. Um, since he turned one, he doesn't really do anything else. Like he doesn't really destroy the apartment anymore. I have tried the furniture spray. That does help. Um, we have... Uh, patio furniture that's kind of like wicker and he had destroyed one of the chairs so now I spray the front I spray that all over the furniture he doesn't eat them anymore yeah I think about it every day knowing that burners don't live very long and I am not sure how well I'll handle when he goes but we try to think of the positivities right now. Yeah, I think if you get a burner as a puppy and you teach them to swim and they're used to that life, I think that's a great life. Like they would love lots of land to run on, pools to swim in. Benny has separation anxiety. So even if I let him outside by himself, and shut the door, he'll sit at the door staring at me because he doesn't want to be out there by himself. Um, I have a car right now, so if he was in the trunk, I don't think he'd make it. Um, he sits in the back seat. I'm looking to get a bigger car so that he could, can go in the trunk. Yeah, I do want to do other videos on this channel besides just Benny. I know a lot of people, what are you, are so loud. I know a lot of people kind of get upset when we do videos that aren't Benny. But the fact is, is he's not going to live forever, but I plan on keeping the channel going for a while. So it'll be sad the day that like 
he passes and all my videos on my channel are just of him so I think we need to start doing videos outside of just Benny videos just to kind of make that time easier too does he whine at night when you guys are sleeping he used to um he doesn't anymore like he used to if we shut the door and like locked him out of the room he would cry he doesn't do that anymore I don't like rawhides either, but our vet told us to get him a big rawhide to chew on and get the plaque off his teeth. So our vet told us to get his, us this bone. Our vet also owns a Bernice Mountain Dog, so... prefer bigger little dogs. I like both. Christian prefers big dogs. I love your channel. I love all three of you guys. Thank you so much for sharing all of your adorableness with the world. Thank you. <laughs> Does he sit in front of the AC under the fan when it gets hot? Um, no, our apartment is always very cool. So sometimes I will lay in the bathroom on the tile. I, would, I do want to make other kinds of videos. They just don't do very well and we start losing subscribers. So that's the hard part. There are other videos that I would love to do that don't involve Benny, but sad thing is they don't do very well. And at some point I would like to do our YouTube channel full time. It's just hard to grow it that way. What's the dumbest, cleverest thing Benny did? Um, one time he was barking at us, and back in the day he used to bark at us for everything, no matter what it was, like attention, whatever. Apparently he was barking at us because he had to go poop, and we didn't know that because he was just outside. We thought he just wanted attention, so we kept yelling at him to go away. A little bit later I walked into the bathroom, and he had gotten in the bathtub, and he pooped in the bathtub. Which couldn't even be mad about because he obviously was telling us he had to poop, but it was so funny that instead of pooping on the floor, he pooped in the bathroom. Do you have a beach near you? If so, did you do you take him? Um, we have taken him to the beach. We do have videos on our channel of that. What kind of collar do you recommend for walks? I like a harness, a front harness, where you can clip it on his chest. It stops the pulling. Does he try to drink from the sink? No, he doesn't. Do you have to vacuum a lot? Um, no, I do have a robot vacuum I use every single day. So I personally don't have to vacuum a lot. I do have to vacuum like behind furniture and my carpet in my bedroom. Otherwise the robot vacuum helps so much. I've thought about doing two channels. Um, that is quite a bit of work to do a Benny video and another video, which on my channel now, I'm trying to do two videos a week anyways, so. <laughs> the problem is, is having a Just Benny channel, at some point he, he isn't going to live forever. He will die one day. And I think that's going to be the hardest thing is posting a video and telling his his channel that he's gone. So I just don't, I don't want to do that. Do you have a potty training video? I only got him at eight months. I didn't potty train him, so no, I don't have a potty training video. He's chewing on a bone for the plaque of his teeth, like his vet recommended. Would it be possible to have a Bernice mountain dog in an apartment? We live in an apartment. I have a Bernice. What's his favorite toy? Um, it's his giant carrot. 
this question a lot. What kind of treats do you use? He likes frozen carrots. What's the greatest challenge of having this breed? Um, I already answered that, but it's the, their neediness. Are there a lot of Bernice in your area? Apparently there are. We had, we actually have a video on our channel. We did a Bernice Mountain Dog meetup in Orlando. Um, you can go check that video out. There were at least, I think, 10 Bernice Mountain Dogs, including a puppy. Does he know how to high five? No, but he does know how to um, shake paws. He's literally been chewing on this bone for like an hour. We might have to wrap things up in a little bit, so if anybody else has any more questions, I'll quickly answer them. If not, um, maybe we'll do some things. <laughs> but try to slow down. I don't know. He's done taste test videos. He's tried everything. He likes everything. Does he do well with cats? Um, he doesn't really care about cats. He's been around them. He's just curious, but he doesn't really care about them. Yeah, he growls at us all the time. Mostly just like play growls. Like if we, he wants attention and he just stares at us and he does these little growls. What other animals did he interact with? I mean, he sees the lizards outside, but he doesn't really care about them. Is he messy? No, he's very clean. How long does Benny sleep? He sleeps a lot. He's a bum. Does he like to be chased? No, but he likes to chase us. Well, burners can live up to, it says eight to 10 years, and I've seen burners live to 12. I've seen, one, I've heard one live to 15. It all depends. Um, I, we knew going into this that he wouldn't live very long. Um, either way, a dog dying is hard no matter what. But from everybody that's owned a Bernice Mountain Dog, they say even though it's a short life, it, those short years are the best. Burners love people, but they do bond with one owner um, more than the other, and that would be me. Does he ever wake you up in the middle of the night? Um, not anymore. He used to, though. His paws are... How big are his paws? Um, here's his paw in my hand. He eats twice a day. I give him one and a half cups in the morning, one and a half cups at night. He was two cups in the morning, two cups at night, but he was gaining a little, he was getting a bit chunky, so.
his expression. It's like, Mom, don't bother me. I'm eating. Um, he's a gobbler, so I will put like a bigger toy, like a ball, in his bowl to slow him down to eat. Like he'll have to move the ball around to eat. Is he alone during the day normally? Um, yes, when me and Krishna are both at work during the day, he's alone. And he just sleeps. Does he fetch? He used to. He used to be really good at fetch, but lately he just is not into it. You should paint his nails. Oh my gosh, I don't think he'd let me. It's also just too much hair. Like, I couldn't even find his nails. He's getting his Grinch feet back. They're getting hairy. sneezed <laughs> if anybody has been here since the beginning of this video I've had to sneeze since we started this live um no he's I'd like I said he's very clean he doesn't get all messy when he drinks does he scratch you uh no not really not on purpose Um, that's a long story. We got Benny at eight months. He had a lot of bad habits and a lot of medical issues, so he wasn't the easiest to train in the beginning, but I've read that burners are easy to train. I mean, I've seen other burners roll around in mud. Benny just prefers to not do that. What were his bad habits? Um, he still has them, like eating toilet paper. He loves eating paper. What is the biggest damage he has caused? I could never be mad at a dog like him. Um, to our apartment, he like chewed up the side of one of our doorways. That was probably the biggest damage he has done, um, which wasn't terrible. Sorry, I'm falling behind. His medical issues, the first two months, we got him at eight months, and the first two months we couldn't figure out why he had to pee every five seconds and why he was peeing blood. He had an enlarged prostate, which was causing an infection in his bladder and causing him a lot of pain. Benny gets excited when he sees anybody. Anybody that will give him attention and he waits he won't run by them He'll sit down by us and wait for the people to look at him and like acknowledge how cute he is and then he'll run at them Benny hates candles actually he's afraid of them um, He he's perfectly fine with me laying on him Oh, I know we, there was a time we were running out of toilet paper and he, we had two more left and he ate one. He 
doesn't really, um, there's sometimes where he'll watch, he likes watching his videos, I've noticed. But other than that, he doesn't really watch TV. Have you thrown him a birthday party? We did, I, he had his first birthday. I have a video of it, um, it's on our channel. And his birthday's coming up June 1st, so I will be doing a second birthday. Does he have a favorite song? Um, I don't think, nah, he doesn't really care about music. Pretty sure he's gonna keep eating this bone until it's completely gone. No, he doesn't sleep with us at night. He gets too hot in the bed. He'll come cuddle every night, but then he leaves and goes on the hardwood floor. Benny like playing with other doggos? Yes, he loves playing with dogs. <laughs> You're welcome. We like people to know all of the different pros and cons of owning a burner. Um, if he's in our bed, he likes to lay on his back with his tummy up so he can get rubs. He stretches, he does, yeah.
done. Go get some water. Go get a drink. Go get a drink.
Lay down. Lay down. There you go. No. You were going to knock me over there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs>